seems like such a like not a mean person, just like a very like intense, confident. Aren't you guys spit sisters? With who? I guess we are. That's awkward. So I it. I mean, I'm just gonna say it. What are we gonna start out with, Zach? Wait for your cue, man. You, you sit over you there. Started speaking. Sit over there. Put on your fake smile like you already have, and let's start. What's up? Welcome to episode 105 of Dropouts. Um, you want to know why I'm sick and tired of Jared this week? Because he's a liar. He's a pathological liar. What did that I do? Uh, you lied. You want me to bring it up? About what? He did. You just said that your immediate uncle started. My, I did not say immediate uncle. Owns. You said step great grand? Still owns Ste I, I don't Krispy know. Kreme. <laughs> no. Yeah, I every not. time you and I go to Krispy Kreme, we have to pay for it. So that sounds like a lie, right? No. This is, this is what I said. My aunt who I'm not blood related gotcha. to who married my uncle that so I your is aunt by marriage aunt by marriage gotcha. aunt in law her great uncle how the fuck do you even know this because she told me okay and keep going hold on go, we're going down the timeline her great uncle so her grandpa's brother started Krispy Kreme okay so if you went inside his donut hole would it be incest yes or no uh, no no I'm not blood related okay so then no. we can't get a coupon for Krispy Kreme that's what I'm saying great that's why we've always had to pay for it hit the intro music you pathological liar I'm so sorry everyone you have to deal with someone who is um I'm sorry you can't so understand. dark in his soul you have no concept of how to listen to a story okay um did you hear the story Bing bong, bing bong. Uh, <laughs> my playing. George George Washington's cousin once knew a guy that ate a donut, and somehow that's my uncle. <laughs> We're that was your story. Plinko of the family tree George trying Washington to get to knew a guy. <laughs> um, before we get into this podcast, obviously you guys know that we're a comedy podcast, and we like to keep it light and fun. Well, and depends on who laughs. And who can create uh, some form of escape here? But we're not insensitive, and we're not naive um, and ignorant to what's going on in the world right now. And it's obviously something that is really, really important to me and near and dear to my heart. Um, so if you want to know, uh, you know, if if you want to get into into the politics and you want to get into the more serious stuff, I've posted a plethora of links and a, ples a plethora of information all over my Instagrams, uh, my TikToks, my Twitters, any kind of any social media. So um, you can kind of go there to refer to things and you can always DM me for more information or help. So yeah, I just kind of want to put that disclaimer out there because we do like to keep it light and fun. And Say what up, B-Words, so now we can hit it into the next section. Right, we good? <laughs> What's up, B-Words? Welcome back to Dropouts. Um, it's been a fuck me week. It is, well. How many? <laughs> it was like a train situation? It has been a terrible week. Eiffel Tower me. for our European listeners. <laughs> Would it, it might make my week better. If you got... Eiffel Tower? No, no. Is that, uh, but is that what you meant by no, what you just said? I, is I, that the joke you're trying to make? <laughs> no. Let me hear. So you just said, <laughs> let me, okay, let me, let's, let's break this down. Okay, you just said, if I get taken advantage of by both angles, that would improve my week. While they simultaneously <laughs> high five over you. <laughs> Can I be honest? In the 80s, they would have called you a hoe, but right now it's it's a it, quality time. So yeah. do what you want to do. Or is it a quality time? Um, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't fully listening to what you were saying. And I heard France and I was like, France would make me feel better. Oh, gotcha. Well, I <laughs> that was the connection that you made with what he said. So you yeah. didn't know. You just basically said you're open to getting double penetrated. Or did I? Am I trying to cover myself? No, it's okay. You can be sexually liberated in this time. <laughs> oh, that sounds terrible. This podcast is only for sexual liberation. We're a sexual liberation podcast. What is the one position you would never want to do, Jared? Um, oh, that's a good question. That I, is a good question. Uh, be, be at a good movie with Indy because she'll talk through it. What? What? Are we just talking about things we don't want to do? Be in a good mood with Indy? <laughs> be at a movie with Indy because she'll talk through it. I don't talk through movies. What are you talking about? The most wild thing is being in a movie with Indy. It's like a fantastic movie I want to see for a while and we'll be watching it. Neither of us has seen it. She's like, oh my gosh, uh, why? What do you oh, think? Oh, I do do that. What's going to happen? Uh, what's going to happen next? Oh. Do that. I was like, oh, you notice how I'm sitting next to you and we're both watching this cinema for the first time. <laughs> You're like, but what's going to happen next? Okay, I'm no, going to break it. Most, no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm just going to cut you off real quick. Oh, thank goodness. Because we're not ever really, to be honest, like nine times out of 10, both of us, when we're experiencing a cinematic experience with Zachary Justice, we're the only ones seeing it for the first time and not Zach. Like Zach, prefers to show us movies that he's seen. And same goes like 100% of the time I'm watching movies with him, he's seen it and I haven't. And it's not like I expect answers. 
out of these questions. It's just that like it's a reflex that I'm like, oh, and what's gonna what's gonna no, happen? No, she'll watch like the first Avengers and be like, uh, does Robert Downey Jr. die in the last one? It's like, <laughs> why would you want to ruin that right now? And he goes, watch the movie. I think that I have he, to remind her, like, she I doesn't believe he, that they're gonna tell the full story. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, in every movie, they usually wrap it up at the end. No, so like, literally. Think, and she every time she doesn't believe it, she's like, I, I bet this one they're probably not gonna tell us what happens at the end. So what, they're, what they're, about you tell me? Jared they lo- and I were they love cliffhangers. Jared and I were watching um the Spider Man. Free solo because you love cliffhangers. Free solo? <laughs> What's that? Anyway, go on. Okay. That was a that was a good joke, Zach. I Thank you. if I got it, I would say it was. Jared and I were watching Spider Man for the first well, for the millionth time for him, for the first time for me, and I kept going, Wait, wait, is it what's gonna do it? He goes, Watch just, the movie. Just watch the movie. Just Spoiler, movie. Spider Man's not gonna die and they're gonna make another one because it makes a lot of money. All right. I'm surprised um, that none of them have done. This week Okay, let me preface this by a couple years ago, I I worked at something called, we've talked about this before, but if you've heard the story, you're about to listen to it again because you're in my cult, baby boy. I'm not in yours. Now listen, (laughs) I I worked TanaCon a couple years ago. If you don't know what TanaCon is, there's an event called VidCon, and that's where all the online creators come together to talk to people that watch them, uh, meet with industry people, and then make collabs with each other. It's just like one big convention, kind of like Comic-Con, but for online creators. Cool. A couple years ago, Tana Mojo, um, even though the last name doesn't spell that, she started her own convention to rival it because she wasn't invited to TanaCon. I mean, she wasn't invited to VidCon or got kicked out. I don't remember the semantics. Point is, she started her own at a rival hotel, uh, uh, not even a mile away, like walking distance. Okay. And I get hired on as labor. The level of pettiness that that has to take to like plan an amount entire of, the convention. Amount of money, the amount, yeah. Like that is the epitome of... I have money and I'm going to spend it in the dumbest way possible. (laughs) Yeah. So I go and at the time I had little to no coins in my pocket. Um, Money was dry and just like the women around Jared. And what I'm trying to say, Jared, come on. Just, okay. Are you cutting me off right now? No, I'm not. I'm just saying, no, but it makes perfect sense. Like the dryness of the, yeah, no, I got the joke (laughs) because anytime you're around a girl, like they get, okay. Um, So I'm working at, they, yeah, yeah, they, it's like shrivels up. You don't know. Yeah. Um, they're not dripping. Anyway, um, I was <laughs> anyway. I was working as labor. I got hired for I think it was two or three days. Um, How uh, much were you, were you working by the day or by the hour? I think I was working by the hour. I don't m- remember my exact. I mean, I sure I'm sure it was minimum wage. I was hired. Are you sure? I was hired by Tana's company or whoever put it on, and I laid out all the guardrails outside. And when I say there's a lot of guardrails on this earth especially when it comes to an event that's going to be a long line. I was out there all day in the beating sun. And you know me, Jared, I don't like sunburns. No, not at all. I'd have gotten one. So how terrible is that? Awful. I mean, that's worse than most things. I feel like you, it takes, you would have had to been out there for hours for you to burn. Cause I feel like your skin's pretty resilient. No. Well, that's just cause I'm double tough. So <laughs> after I laid out, I, after I laid my body on the line and I was, and you've seen my arms, Jared, they're not impressive on a bicep standard. So, no, but they're dense. Like you've, yeah. you've flexed before and it might not be like the Arnold Schwarzenegger like bulge or whatever, okay. but they're, they're rock they're solid. Nice. Schwartz of what? Enunciate next time, man. Don't get canceled. <laughs> all right. I laid out all the guardrails and then all the fans showed up and they're expecting, I think I'm going to get the numbers wrong and I'm probably going to embellish it a little bit, but that'll make the story better. They were expecting, I think 1200 people to show up to were They really, that's it. I think so. And you I mean, that's, fucking that's, idiots. that's a lot of people though, but, like but in, for, in a crowd. For, but especially for back then, that was like peak Tana Mojo time. Like pe- like conventions were like at their highest point. Like, well, were they pre-selling tickets or was I think it so. like- yeah. first I think they were pre-selling. Okay, well then that's probably and then the idea. I don't know they... if you could get them there or not. So I, I think they were expecting like 1,200 and then like 10 or 20,000 show up. Okay. Which is like, that's gotta be such an ego booster. Yeah. That like a stadium full of people. So people are outside in the hot sun for five hours. Plus people are passing out there. I'm walking around the crowds. They're like, can I be let inside? Please help me. I've never experienced so, so much pain. I was like, go to a third world country. You're not doing that actually that bad boo boo. Um, no, I shouldn't say that because some people were actually passing out and stuff. And I was actually, I was trying to catch them left and right. That didn't happen. It makes me feel like a hero though. But, um, no, they were, they were suffering outside. Uh, we were trying to pass out waters the best we could. And and then Tana was like, hey, I got an idea. Um, 
we can't get everybody inside. They overshowed up. Um, it's it's hell outside. What if I try to say like, hey, let's calm this whole thing down? So she goes outside, and who would have thought a bum rushing mob um, <laughs> pushes over all of my guardrails? <laughs> no, oh, like, no, no have not you your made, hard work. Have you ever made uh, a Lincoln log house, Jared? Yeah. Have you ever have you ever made a Lego house? Have you ever made a oh. sandcastle? And then uh, and then your cousin. Oh, that dirty cousin that doesn't get loved enough at home comes over and knocks one of those things over. Oh, yeah. And you're like, oh, creati creativity, my hard work down the tube. That's what I felt like when Tana walked outside and the masses just push over all the my my perfectly placed guardrails. And um, Don't worry, he didn't get all um, No, I really did because I had to move the guardrails back. <laughs> um, and, then the, and then they're like, Tana, Tana. And it's like, Tana's like, I'm so sorry. So after like a day or two, the whole thing got shut down and it was supposed to be longer. And I still want to get Tana on the podcast because I never got paid from it. So I just want to have her on the podcast. Like, oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> I was at TanaCon and you didn't pay me anyway. We'll Send me a Venmo right now. No, we're going to get her on. We're going to get that money, baby boy. Oh, yeah. It wasn't much, but at the time it was a lot. But also it might not be her, her like, hey. It was called TanaCon. No, 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 no. I know. But if she hired people to take care of that but aspect. Ba but based on the clickbait, if I call her out, it's going to do a lot way better. better. So even if it wasn't. But you see how. I'm pretty like, sure it was some guy named Michael's fault who was blonde. Who so knows? Specific. But you see if it's like if a Walmart employee takes like steals a hundred bucks from me, it's not like Walmart CEO's problem. You know what I mean? It's like they didn't do it. Can we just, we're just, we're, we're prefacing this to get Tana on so we can air out the beef. And honestly, we just want her on the podcast. You know, the whole views thing. How yeah, we no, I we want it. more of those. I get it. I mean, am I as mad as, as I'm putting on? Probably not. Like I said, so I never got paid. And now this year, my entire life, I know this is kind of lame, but I've watched YouTube and, and social media my entire life. And I've always wanted to go to VidCon. And this year I got invited, which Woo! was, which was, you know, interesting. It's like I used to be the labor and now I'm uh, the, uh, the. That is really cool. Yeah, it's like a full circle moment. What like, was I going to say? Um, it was, was it like a cir full circle moment like Jared said? Um, yeah, but I was honestly just. You're going to use another analogy? Yeah, which like then I was like, nah, he got it. <laughs> <laughs> it like, wouldn't have made sense. Try, try like maybe it's like a roundabout. No. All right, because it's full circle. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, because you leave on roundabouts, you don't actually take the full circle because that would be like counterproductive. I love when you just chime in with your wisdom. <laughs> but am I wrong? Cool. Either way, <laughs> if we're all shapes, you both be squares. Now listen up. <laughs> but anyway, um, this might be boring for people, but uh, I'm gonna give a little insider to the VidCon. So I got there. I was an invited guest. Feature creator is the top thing, but I still got to do everything the feature creator got to do. I just didn't have any panels, so maybe next year. So I didn't have. You want to do a panel? Yeah, I would love to. What do you think you talk about? Life, love, and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> I probably just read off the preamble. Um, <laughs> my manager was there. He had a hotel. I stayed in his hotel. I wasn't fancy enough to have my own hotel this year, but I was like, that's fine. It's my first one. I got to work up. But I, I, I met a lot I of- was a, I was a featured creator uh, and performed whenever I went, I last went, I think it was right before the pandemic. Um, I didn't, I didn't get a hotel, so. Oh, I thought she was just trying to rub in my face. I know, I was just She's like, like, oh, no, no, no. When no, I, no, like, I, was, I, I thought you were gonna end that with like, I was a feature creator my first year and I was like, okay. No, 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 no. Feature um, creator, um, I pretty much hosted the whole thing. Everyone loved me. Sorry that you had such a bad time. No, uh, I did like a bunch of panels and performed and whatever, but I did not get a hotel. I, I guess. You definitely had a bad, and I also did not get invited to a lot of the parties. That also could have been because I was a minor. I would probably have something to do with it. I bet Jeff Fury Epstein would probably let you at his party. Oh, God. for real? Yeah, they had a lot of parties there. Oh, well, quickly to get to the party thing. So there's this big TikTok party, and that's the only reason I was invited. Those did look lit because I was nice. 2020. <laughs> yeah. um, um, but the whole reason I was there was because of like the TikTok following, as pretentious as that sounds. And I, I don't think it's pretentious. It's a, it's a social media con. I feel like you don't need to to you can. Talk about your achievements and confidently and not sound like a dick. Like I do you know what I'm trying to say there? Yeah. I don't think it's pretentious. Like you worked your ass off to get to where you are. Is that why pants don't fit right? No, but like <laughs> Is that why real quick, let me just board? like boost your ego just a, a second. Because I actually do mean every word I'm about to say. You genuinely worked your or ass she's off. She's like, your mother. <laughs> your mother. No, but you you have genuinely been one of the hardest working creators I've ever met in my entire life. You've spent hours and hours and hours and hours of blood, sweat, and tears pouring- I did not in, bleed once. No, you know what I mean, your knee. Um, uh, like pouring your 
thoughts and your time and your efforts into your skits, into your TikToks, into your social medias, into your fan base. You spend hours every single day communicating with them, talking with them. You spend hours uh, talking to to brands, to to companies. Like because I'm trying to start my. Cult. I think that you're allowed to. I think that you're allowed to talk about your achievements and not sound pretentious. I think it would be pretentious if you were like. Yeah, I just fucking like got invited to all this shit and I'm the fucking coolest. But like you worked your ass off and clearly they can tell you worked from the bottom up. Like, I don't think you were pretentious. Like, I think you worked your ass off to get there. Well, first off, thank you. That makes me feel really good. Um, Retweet. If we are, (laughs) if you had typed that, I would definitely um, retweet it. Um, But based off that, I guess I should, I'm better than, I'm better than you. (laughs) Do I say that directly to the camera? Um, (laughs) Anyway, I have way more followers than you and you suck. Um, Basically, Indy said it's good to, it's cool to say that now. I think you do have more followers than me now? No, no, I was saying to the, to the, to the general (laughs) public. On TikTok though? No, I don't think Uh, so. You're fucking, you're you're, you're near enough on it. I know, that's, what do you think my only mission is? (laughs) (laughs) To pass me up, but you, you got a while to go for Instagram, bud. And Snapchat. Yeah, you, and you say that. Give me a couple months. <laughs> oh, no, actually, no. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say that. Um, but anyway, uh, so there's this big TikTok party. They rented out this entire house. All your favorite TikTokers were there. All the ones that do this. Was Kirby there? Yeah. Uh, was he? The talk, was he? He's the top TikToker now, right? Yeah, he what is. Yeah, you passed I heard Harley. him talk because I've never heard him talk because some guy, some fan guy, fan guy, some artist gave him a drawing and he went, hey, I, I drew this of you. And he goes, oh, thanks, man. And I was like, Whoa. I've never heard him talk. What's his name? Cabby? Cabby, sorry. Is I'd... it Cabby or Cobby? Cobby. Kirby, no? No, it's definitely like Ooh, a cop. Sorry. Ca- ca- we all know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's the most followed guy. He was there, actually. So they rent out an entire hotel for the creators. And um, that's kind of where we can all mingle and network together. Is that what you guys were saying? Yeah. But it was kind of funny because he was there. But anytime he walked anywhere, even in the creator place, he had like, Eight security around him. He's the only one with security. Whoa, really? I guess did Emilio's pe- had security? Oh, didn't they? I didn't. Yeah. I didn't see the Charlies. I, I know she, she was there. there, but I didn't see her at the hotel. They had security. But again, at the TikTok party, I know I can usually swindle things because I'm a, I'm a talker. So I wasn't invited for whatever reason. So I was like, I'm just gonna go down there anyway, see what happens. And I'm like, I, I walk in. Oh, you weren't invited. No, I don't know. I was invited to every single thing else except except, except for the reason I was there. <laughs> so like, hey, what's your name? And like, uh, Zach Justice, like, oh, you're not in here. I was like, that's so strange because like management said that my email would be Oh, I list. always pull that shit. Yeah, and then they I was go, like, <gasps> they're like, they panic a little bit. They're like, oh, fuck, oh no, they didn't panic. They're like, because everyone was trying to do that. They're like, okay, cool. Show me the screenshot. And I was like, okay, yeah, here's a screenshot. And they're like, because my manager had a screenshot from someone else and he sent it to me. Nice. And they're like, uh, with your name on it. Oh fuck. And then I was like, I'm not going to be going back and forth. Like I was sent here for TikTok. like that. It'd be wild if I wasn't here. And this guy's like, um, I, cause I was just trying to swindle and he's yeah. like, he's like, oh, show me your TikTok." And I, sh- and I showed tried him to call your bluff and I showed him my TikTok. He's like, all right, that's enough followers going. I felt, oh I've, my God. I've not had a, that was a pretty dirty feeling. There's a, like, I was like, that was, to be honest, I've, I've never experienced, I've never had to, oh, no, that's a lie. But I've never like shown my following. Me personally, I've never gone like, look at my followers and they've given like- No, I, d- I didn't show him, he asked. No, I, I want to preface never, that. Cause I would never be I've like- I've never done that. Cause I was just, I was about to leave. I was like, all right, it didn't work. And then he's like, wow, let that's me- that's crazy. But anyway, so then I got into the party and I um, I ate uh, a tiny donut. Oh, and some, nice. this, this drunk guy was getting dragged out of the party from the stairs, almost fell all the way down the stairs on me. Um, I also peed in the bathroom, nothing really else happened. Um, but as far as VidCon in itself, like I got to meet like a lot of people I've watched. And- my um, my mom, sorry, I keep cutting. Oh, your mom was so there. Rude. My mom told me that this year's VidCon was actually one of the best years it's been. Cause I've been twice, I believe, or twice, twice or three times I've been, or, or twice, oh, fu- it doesn't fucking matter. Um, And it's like, it honestly hasn't been great in past years. Like it's been good, but it's not been like my favorite thing I've ever done. Um, But she said that this year they really stepped it up and it was incredible. And honestly, there are so many creators there that I, what, like I wasn't expecting a ton of creators to be there, um, but it was it was cool to see. No, I didn't know. It was wild how many creators were there that I just didn't know. I didn't know ninety nine percent of the people there. Dude, you went, Jared was, went came for a day behind it the was, scenes. You want to know something? What? Um, a lot of those creators actually signed on back in twenty nineteen or twenty twenty for the twenty nineteen for the twenty twenty. Oh, I think that, I think that's public info. Oh, yeah, because they had to like make up for. Well, a lot one. of them signed on back then, and so they were 
contractually like obligated to go. So like, I mean, people that might've had a hundred K then might have, you know, like a hundred million now, which I think is so cool. So I think that's why VidCon was so much more of a big deal. Like so much bigger this year, just because the creators have like, well, it's interesting that you say like it was so much better this year because we were talking to somebody and the, the attendance was, well, the attendance was significantly less. And I think really? it was, well, it, I was heard it was more. Well, no, somebody said that in the past it's been like 70,000 people. And this year I, I'm guessing yeah, the because year of I like, went, it was like insane. I'm guessing because of like COVID restrictions and oh. stuff like that. They only saw, they only like sold 12,000. Like they only let oh, that really? many people in. Um, and so I couldn't imagine what that oh, convention center looks like. To not be like, not to be, cause this is me sounding pretentious and I do have to preface this, but the year that I went, like one of the first years I went was when like chicken girls took over the fucking internet and like, we were the fucking young little vlog squad at the time. Like we were the baby vlog squad. Like, yeah. cause the LeBlancs were like, vlog, like we all vlogged, like we we're huge on YouTube and Instagram. I have never felt cooler walking into a place and having everyone be like, oh my God. And like come up to you. And like, it was wild. There were so many people there. That's yeah. why, cause I heard the attendance was more. Oh, well, it was just this one person that we were talking to. I don't know what the actual numbers are. It was pretty cool. It felt like a summer camp. Because like, we we're all like in the same hotel. And Playlist like, feels that way. Every, you guys are gonna love playlists, especially since that's in Florida. And so like everybody, everybody has to travel there. So you're not like it's not like L.A. where it kind of still feels it, like no, home. it really feels like a summer camp there. And it is, I have had, I've never had more wild experiences in my life than playlist. Oh, that gets me excited for it. Oh, Jared, you're gonna have okay. Between you and me. And the rest of the internet. One of the biggest, so one of, oh. <laughs> 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 Fucking idiot. One of the biggest parties is like the, the uh, last day and all the creators go to this, uh, it was at a water park last, or the last time I went. And we all go and they have like a huge open bar there and they sell those, this is the, the Bacardi bucket night that I was telling you guys about. They oh, sell no. those, Buckets, like the things that you get on vacation, buckets of like alcohol mixed drinks and everyone's just fucking obliterated on these buckets of alcohol, like going you, down you were, you were of age when that was all happening. Oh, right? absolutely not. But this is not Playlist's fault at all because like I was like sneaking in like- How old were you? Oh, like 17, 16. Being a little delinquent. Oh, I was such a fucking delinquent at that age. I was, I was a little wild, delinquent bitch. I had like a chip on my shoulder that I was like, let's fucking get wild. Was it Laser um, store brand? <laughs> uh, store brand for sure. Yeah, I was definitely not cool enough to be Lay's. Jared's not cool enough to get laid if that makes sense. <laughs> Speaking oh. of getting laid, your ex has been talking to me. Sick. Love her. She's lovely. She is lovely. Lovely, lovely. Are you gonna keep that in? Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in. But let's, let's move on to the next topic. <laughs> Sorry. No, but it was really like, I love networking with people. You're really um, good at it. But it's just my favorite thing, just talking with people because I love operations and how people like got their channel to where it is or how or how their team does things. And there's, I know that's the probably the boring part of what, what I'm talking about, but it's just, it makes me feel like I really want to create more because a lot of time you're in your room and you're in your head so much, but it's like, oh, there's this huge community. And then when I don't like, when, when people who watch your content, pay tickets and they see you there. There were genuine, like people were running up to me and genuinely excited, like not a ton, mm -hmm. but a like, decent amount, a decent amount. Like and a lot of people, a lot actually. Of you told me a lot of creators actually came up to you. No, that was a cool part. A lot of creators were like, um, Hey, like even one of them was like, Hey, I just want to say, I really like your stuff. I was, I've been kind of nervous. I've been seeing you around. I've been kind of nervous to come up because I figured you've been getting mobbed because your content's <laughs> so good. I was like, just, I've, I'm not even close to being mobbed. He's like, I've been walking around pretty freely. Yeah, pretty, uh, I'd be surprised if anybody knew. Um, <laughs> I think I could have a name flashing on my back and people would still be like. No, but a lot of the creators are like, dude, I respect your stuff so much. Like, it's so funny. Like, one of the creators was funny. Uh, he was like, hey, I really like your stuff. I was like, oh, thank you. I was like, oh, what do you do? He's like, and he got, I guess, cause I do comedy and like just the way I am, he felt bad. He goes, uh, thir thirst traps. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a hard, th okay. I, cause you, we've been in that like position before where I've been there where you've been like, oh, where they've asked us what we do. And I tell them, I'm like, oh, I do like, you know, comedy videos with Zach. And then I do like fashion TikToks. And then I do like just 
annoying hot girl bullshit. Like, and I like make fun of that, right? And then when you come to a creator that only does like thirst traps and stuff, the embarrassment they suddenly feel having to tell you that is so funny. And I'm like, dude, if you can make the money that you're fucking making just by going like this, <laughs> That is not, I'm sorry, but that is nothing to be embarrassed about. Cause do you know how many millions well, of people wish they could do it? I mean, <laughs> well, no, like, look, well, no, look, look, well, look. is it like, well, what the, well, is it a little, okay. Maybe it is a little bit embarrassing, but like fucking a man, just like, think about it. Like you, you're doing so fine. Like, yeah, I mean, as long as, as long as, you know, you got, you, you put your soul on lease, not fully for sale. You're good to go. That's um, okay, this was this was a little bit of the most awkward part. Um, I had to say they uh, th thirst traps. What do you say when they say that? He's like, well, no, he got, He's like, I love like you're so funny, man. I was like, what do you? He goes, just I, I do thirst traps. And I was like, <laughs> oh, sick, man. He's like, yeah, I yeah, it's stupid, but it's what I do. And I was like, no, don't feel bad because as long if you I do, recognize. So I because I do like comedy, so people are thinking I'm like gonna make fun of him. I, I'm just like he cool. makes fun of him in your in his head. I don't. No, I don't. I'm very respectful and nice to everyone. But <laughs> no, this, yeah, you are. But no, like, my favorite person I met was uh, there's this dog, and oh, his, and his oh, owner, his owner really screen. liked my stuff. I, mean, I think his name is Magnus. Maybe yeah, Magnus the therapy dog. And he had his own business card that I got. But he was the sweetest little boy. Do you want to know who I'm jealous you met? Who? Brittany Broski. No, I got her contact. I said. I no. I think. I think. Hopefully, we can get her on the podcast. Oh no. Oh, and I met. Um, there's a creator named Carl. A lot of people know oh, from, no! from Mr. Beast stuff, and. Like him and his crew, like they do Twitch and they were getting mobbed the most and oh, yeah. their panels were the most. And I, I didn't understand it. So I, I saw him there. I was like, hey, not to be naive, but kind of what do you guys do on, because I've only been on Twitch once. I've never even streamed. So I was like, hey, what do you guys do on Twitch? Um, and they're like, oh, we kind of do like improv storytelling through Minecraft. It's fucking wild. That I've like watched some of their YouTube videos just like jumping in. And obviously it's like hard to follow along if you haven't been there for the many seasons beforehand, but it is so freaking interesting. It is actually so interesting. And there's this, yeah, there's this guy named Ranboo and apparently he always wears this black and white mask. I don't, I know I'm sounding naive, probably everybody else knows about it, um, but a lot of, I saw everyone around wearing the mask. So I also asked him like what he does, it's the same thing. And it was just wild. Like that was the biggest fan base. Like you would have thought they were rock stars. hundred percent. Like, I guess they are rock stars in their own, in, in their, their own, own sense. But it was, I, I just didn't, I didn't understand that Twitch had that big of, of a reach. And dude, it, we it were, was really cool to see. We were uh, hanging out with somebody who, who's also a Twitch streamer and they were talking about like the panel that like all these big creators did. And, uh, he was like, they had a lot of seats already set out for like the main stage panel, right? And he showed me a video of the crowd that was there for the Twitch streamers panel. Dude, every seat that was already filled there. And then literally probably double the amount of people standing behind those Yeah, seats. no, I, wa I saw it. Yeah, it was insane. And one of the girls I met early on, her name was uh, Nikki. One of the sweetest people I've ever met, but we, we were in the, they would shuttle us back and forth from the hotel convention center. And I, it was just her and I in, apparently she's really big on Twitch, but it was just her and I in, um, the Uber or whatever you want to call it. And I didn't know how big she was like, I, I, cause I don't know much about Twitch. And she's like, yeah, I'm just, a, I'm, a, I'm a little anxious right now. Cause I, I walked into the convention center. I got mobbed by 200 people. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, what do you do? She's like, I do Twitch. I was like, wow. And she, she, I guess she does like the storytelling stuff a little bit too, but mostly just talks. But I guess that was, I think that was like my, like most closest friend I got to while I was there. She was, she was really nice. And I told her next time she's in LA, we'll have to have her on the podcast. But she was, yeah, she was like really down to earth and like so quiet. Like all the Twitch streamers were like really quiet and like really like down to earth. But their fan base was crazy because I think a lot of their fans are um, outsiders sounds derogatory, but it's not what I mean. Um, but, you know, not not as much like mainstream people yeah. in high school. And so I feel like that's why they latch on to them so much because they're so relatable. But that was that was really cool. But let me get into the most awkward part when I was sidebar before you get into that. I actually I wish I knew how to like play video games and like be a part of that world because I actually, as dumb as this is about a sound, I actually think it would be super beneficial for me to be able to like escape while still doing something. Does that make any no, sense? No, I'm, I'm definitely thinking about streaming, not may maybe video not games, even, like, but I'm gonna- I just wanna be able to like, I would, f I just wanna be able to play video games so bad, but I'm just like not, 
I find it really difficult. Well, it's just like anything. I mean, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure in a week you'd be fine at video games. And honestly, the a lot of the streamers, I mean, there are the ones that are like, you know, they could go esports or whatever, but a lot of them, they are like very just average players, but they just get a following based on their like personalities. Their, yeah, their personalities. And so they're not the best at the games that they're playing. But oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I thought you had to be like, oh, okay. Anyway. Hopefully. Okay. The most awkward thing at VidCon, um, Jared, Jared and Indy, Indy know I had a slight crush on a certain um, content creator. Oh, was she there? Back in the day. Was she there? She Did was. She say, the, do you, she, wow. No, hold on. She was there. You know, we, it, it was a very brief back and forth back in the day where I thought maybe something was moving in the right direction. Um, I definitely was probably into her a little bit more than she was. To, she was me completely fine. And then uh, things fell away. Whatever, we won't get into Where specifics. Where did you get ghosted? Whatever. <laughs> and, uh, he said we're not getting into specifics. And that would be specific. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it probably wouldn't be weird if I talked to her or if she saw me. It just wouldn't be. But it's just one of those things in the back of your head where it's like, I'm going to avoid this like the plague. Yeah. And um, around every corner, there she was um, with her new boo thing, uh, holding holding That's his so hands. Awkward. And like, well, no, a lot of the time my manager or something, like I'd go from meeting to meeting. My manager would be somewhere or I was hanging out with the Montoya twins a lot. They'd be somewhere. So I'll just be walking by myself. Oh. But every single time I saw her, I would accidentally like lock eyes with her or her boyfriend and I would always be by myself. So it, oh, fuck. It, <laughs> when I say it looked like I was stalking. Oh, oh no. no. I mean, every single corner. And the one time we stopped in the elevator and they were like right there. And I was just like, and I was just stopped at the elevator. I was like, oh, um, all right. It was just to look up. Did and they didn't get on. <laughs> You're like, you know oh, what? Oh, they I'll didn't take get on? It. No. That is so fucking awkward. No, I mean, every awkward. corner. And I would just see her and go, I'd literally do this. You didn't say hi at all? No. That is so fucking awkward. It just. I, I, that makes it more awkward. It was just awkward. And, that is really. And you just looked and, alone. No, and I just looked like a stalker. And you were just chilling. Oh, no, no, no. What I was going to say is, okay, so they, they closed down. Um, what's it called? Oh, uh, no. And then we did a party afterwards for Amazon Prime video. Prime Amazon video, video at uh, uh, House of Blues. And um, cool. Flo In Millie. Downtown, Flo downtown Millie. Disney? Uh, yeah, yeah. Flo Millie. I don't know if Flo you guys Millie know. Flo Millie shit. Ho. Flo Millie shit. Look, I don't. Uh, apparently, a, a lot of her TikToks go they off. I don't know. I didn't know much about her. Love Fantastic her. performer. She's such a good performer. Like she killed it. Look, like if you ever just want to be instantly hyped up and just feel like you're in, oh, I guess this doesn't, I mean, maybe, maybe you guys want to feel like bad bitches one time. <laughs> but like if you ever just need to be like hyped up mm, and ready to feel like maybe I'm once a week, I'm ready to feel like a bad bitch. You pop on some flow Millie shit. But no, she, she honestly did an incredible job. But besides that, uh, chain smokers also played. That was fun. Fuck the chain smokers. I was what? Sorry. No, I love the chain smokers, but I got bad memories. Oh, okay. I have great memories. <laughs> that was my I, first I, I date was. with the devil. That's the night I got asked out by the devil. So, but he, the chain smokers were their his wingman. Um, <laughs> no, we were we got invited to the concert by them. Okay, well, <laughs> so I, I can, was jealous. I missed this. So concert. I can wrap up this story. Um, the last thing that happened, we all went to this giant party. I mean, wall to wall people. It was kind of funny. The chain smokers were like, I thought this was gonna be a corporate party, <laughs> but it's just everybody getting down and twerking oh, their cool. twerking their hearts out and a sea of people you wouldn't know where anyone is and of course i find myself no in the middle of their family because i'm just walking <laughs> i'm walking i'm walking because i want to get i want to get water at the bar i'm like i'm so dehydrated so i go to the bar and i'm just sitting there for a while you fucking would i'm just sitting there for a while like i do not notice are you and, by yourself again yeah because oh, i was like i gotta get some water so i walk in and i'm in the middle of them and they probably knew i was there the whole time. Oh, but 100%. I, like, I, did you not know you were oblivious? It was so dark. Oh, that's so fucking and I was just, awkward, Zach. And, and I was just looking like straight ahead. And um, one of their, and then I'm like, oh, hey. Uh, uh, and I was like trying to get past this guy. I was like, oh, here we go. Hey, mind if I just get past you? And it was like one of them. No. And then I, I looked down, I look at them and I go, and then I look down and go, I go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I go, oh, hey, oh. <laughs> cause there's like a lot of them. I was like, hey, hey, hey. I didn't drink water. <laughs> You're like, you know what? I'm not. I immediately thirsty. left. I like, I gotta go. Um, that is so fucking awkward. I talked I talk to Riley Hubatka there. Oh, oh my gosh. I love her. I'm not gonna lie. I understand the whole, okay. You know how people say that they are very intimidated by me 
before like meeting me and then when they meet me they're like oh she's just as much of a bitch as I thought she would be no 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 but like you know what I mean how they think that I'm intimidating when I'm not I for the first time ever felt that way about like what was your face for um I don't know I honestly was like a little bit nervous to meet her because I was like she just seems like such a like not a mean person just like a very like intense confident aren't you guys spit sisters with who I guess we are That's awkward. We did not touch base on that. (laughs) Um, First or second? Anyway, uh, I was a little bit nervous to meet her, especially like under the grounds that we were meeting on. Are we supposed to have on the podcast soon? What's going on? Can we just get through the (laughs) story? She is such a lovely, lovely girl. That's where she's trying to get. This person's nice. (laughs) No. Okay, okay, so we just took 45 minutes. Is she a nice girl? No, let me talk about okay. it. She said she's no. So <laughs> she said no. Genuine. Like we had so many inside jokes on set. Like she is such a lovely, lovely girl. And I was so pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by her. But you met her. How'd that go? You guys chit chatted? What would you talk about? I said hi, nice to meet you. Oh. It was supposed to be a quick combo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> quick you guys combo. Not talk about the fact that Oh uh, yeah, I was like, you know Indy. She's like, I do. So I mean she said you guys got along. Um anyway, Jerry. <laughs> Did you see what she said? Uh, you guys got along. You guys have uh, you have uh, pictures or something you want to talk about? Well, you're not even talking about the last day. Oh when yeah, Jared came. Holy shit! Oh yeah. Well, I forgot. I forget Jared's in my life sometimes. Um, Jared <laughs> came. Hurtful. And uh, that I, is hurtful. I had a little plus one in my pocket, so I was like, "Hey, I'll bring the guy that smiles too much," and I bring him to. They shut down Disneyland for us. Oh, Disney. that like I'm Spotify. Not oh, wait, wait, wait. What? Sorry, one last thing. I am all over the place. All of Disneyland or just California? Um, Adventure Park. So SZA, SZA performed. And yeah. so their pre-party to Disney was a SZA concert. And we both know how I feel about that god of a human being. I literally have a tattoo for her. Oh, what if I got to show her? She'd be like. Like cool. Sick. I've got people with portraits of me on their back. I don't care about this. Um, I am so jealous that you guys got to see her. Did Jared guys- can talk about this. There's a VIP P section of Spotify for the SZA concert. I was like, I kind of want to be in that. I so- feel like you should be in that. We just we have a Spotify live podcast. Anyway, well, Jared- trust me, that came into play. <laughs> oh, Jared- really? Jared can talk about that. Well, that. so Zach, the the master communicator over there. I prefer Bader, but go on. So we wanted to. Zach's obviously got his knee like hurt, and we've been walking all day. So we wanted to go. We wanted to go sit up uh, in the balcony seats or whatever. So we go, and one of the, like the security stops us. They're like, "Hey, this is for Spotify VIP guests. Like, do you have like the the sticker on your badge?" And we're Zach, you know, tries to talk to them. And she's like, no, like you gotta, like you gotta, there's a table down there you gotta go talk to. So we go there and, uh, you know, we walk up and they go, okay, what's your name? And he's like, Zach Justice. And they're like, oh, I don't, I don't see you on the list. Pulls the same shit mm-hmm. he did at TikTok. And he goes, but with the tick, with the Spotify but, live podcast, but with Spotify, he's like, oh, well, I was sent here like by Spotify. Like my name should be on that list. And they go, oh, really? And he's like, yeah, like I have a live show, like a live original show with them and everything. And they go, yeah, okay. And then just like give us the stickers. That is the thing. Okay, like it was also the last day, so I'm sure yeah. they were yeah. just But like, then we were what? sitting with like all the performers and all the like exact oh, yeah. Spotify. If that execs. didn't work, then you could easily pull the ACL surgery thing. Yeah. Well <laughs> what we didn't realize was that we thought the whole upstairs balcony was Spotify VIP, but apparently there was general seating up there too. We just happened to talk <laughs> our way into better seats. If you're confident about anything, that's ninety percent of with, the battle. I've learned that from you. And did you notice that I didn't put a T at the end of that? You didn't say learnt? <laughs> I had a pri- I don't know why I say learnt. I mean, technically it's a word. Oh, is it? I think so. I'm oh. pretty sure. Well, I think I it's learnt. like old English. But, um, but, well, that makes sense. But they shut down Disney for us. And one of the managers at my management company had never been on a roller coaster in his entire life. Oh, no. And how, is, uh, how is that possible? It's po- very possible. I know it's very possible, but I just like my upbringing. I grew up with. I was like, I want to go on a ride with you tomorrow. The only reason he showed up to Disney really? that night was like, I'm going to ride a ride with Zach. Wait, your knee. How could you go on a roller coaster? Trust I mean, me, I he sat, went. I sat down. Yeah, I went That's too many times. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my knee was killing me, but I was like, uh, How's it feeling today? Hurts. Uh, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been hurting really bad. The doctor I, is not going to be through with you. Yeah, we just you won't tell him. should not have done that. You know how it works. We just won't tell him. Um, I'll tell him. He'd never ridden a roller coaster before. I mean, he was, he was 
S wording bricks. <laughs> and um, he sits next to me and he goes and tries to go to a euphoric trance. And I was like, oh, this is a starter roller coaster. And then uh, then credit coaster stops and then shoots it's off. It's terrifying. It's not it a starter roller coaster no, at it's like, all. Four, three, two, one, go, boom. And then and then you almost see him like black out like a ghost. Really? <laughs> and we go on the ride. He had a good time. That's really the end of the story. I got a little kick pop thing and I. But it was just wild, like walking through the Disneyland park and it just being that must have barren. been lovely like it was it, it felt like like you know those like uh those out otherworldly experiences like when you wake up in the middle of the night as sleepover or when you're in a store that's like closed and there's no one else there that's what it felt like it like being in disney like an empty walmart yeah like being in disney with nobody else there that would have been cool it just felt like it's like it's just one of the moments where you look back and if you could tell your little kid self that, you'd that, be doing that one day you're going to be at Disneyland without other people there. Right? It's just, it was very... Um, it kind of looked busy from what I was seeing from other people. I mean, there was a few it, hundred... It's just all creators. Creators yeah. there. I mean, a hundred, a few hundred people in Disneyland will yeah, still so, make it look But you could just go there. on the ride over and over and over and over. It was, it that was is really very cool. Fun. It was one of the better, uh, more fun times I've had in, in, in my life just because... You know, it's Disneyland. I love and, it. And um, while you guys were doing that, I had a knock on my door at 2 a.m. Do you know what happened last night? I heard. I got a knock on my door at 2 a.m. from the cops. Someone died at the front of your house. Okay. Just one time though, right? Huh? Just one And time. I feel, uh, this was actually brought up in therapy for me today. Um, I feel terrible. I shouldn't be making light about this, but I also like need to. Otherwise, I feel like I'm going to just like. It's your coping mechanism. It is. Two hours prior, uh, I ordered food and met my Postmates delivery person at the gate next to the door because I thought he was a homeless man sleeping. And I was like, oh, I don't want to wake him. He's oh, just that's trying, sad. He's well, just trying because to- Because homeless people have slept, slept down there. there. Before, yeah. And I was like, I don't want to wake him. Like so many people are like, it. if somebody comes and it really becomes an issue, they can deal with it. He's not harming me. He's not bothering me. I just wanted to let him sleep. And I feel- Because he might not have been passed away when you saw him. It's like in the back of my head, I'm like, what if I called and like he was- I don't know. It's hard. It was like two hours before like the cops came and knocked on my door. And like, I think, dude, it was like a very traumatic experience because I saw red and blue lights flashing through my uh, door or through my window. And I was like, what is that? And I looked out the window and I just like, this is really graphic, but like I saw them pick up a lifeless body and zip it in a body bag and put it in the ambulance. And I was like, Jesus, that's pretty sad. And then I go boom, boom, boom. And they go, like, like we had a look at the security cameras. We saw that you were down there two and a half hours ago. And I was like, I've got really bad eyesight. Like I, I wasn't wearing my contacts or my glasses because I've got really bad vertigo and I've got a migraine. And so I didn't have them on. And I just, I didn't want to wake him. I thought he was a homeless man sleeping. And I felt, I'm so sorry. Like I, I didn't know, like I was like panicking at the cops and they were like, it's okay. We just have to go out around and ask. It's okay. It's okay. And I was like, I'm so sorry. Like I didn't know. And like, I, dude, I genuinely felt so terrible going to bed and i'm just like dude in high like in logically is there anything like if even if i had my glasses and contacts on like would i have thought i still would have thought he was sleeping he had his like arms underneath him like this and he was like closed and i was like oh my god it was a terrible night for me it has been a terrible week for me i'm glad that you guys have had such a good time and that makes me feel a little bit better hearing that you guys were like having fun like genuinely that actually does make me feel better like that i'm not saying that like that actually <laughs> i was like <laughs> we both look at each other no 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 I, I wholeheartedly and genuinely mean that like hearing those happy stories make me feel so much better because so i fuck it i mean i'm just gonna say it i've been filming a new show which has been really really exciting um and i have a huge role in the production side of this show um and so it's been really stressful and intense. And we were one day, we had one more day of shooting and a COVID outbreak hits our set. And I get COVID, my co-star gets COVID, uh, my co-director gets COVID, like a lot of people on the set get COVID and we have one more day of shooting and I have to now isolate for five to seven days. Um, and when I tell you, it hit me like a freight train I don't remember the last time I was that sick. I genuinely felt terrible. Like probably the last time you had COVID in like last July. I, would, I wasn't even that sick then. Oh, never mind. I then. did not even feel that sick then. Like I literally was like migraine was out of this world. I was so nauseous. I was coughing like nobody's business. Like my whole body was sore. Like oh my 
God. And instead of my senses go- dwindling and, and going away, I felt like my no- like my smell and my taste were so much more heightened and intense for some reason that the smell of my candles were making me gag. That's I was probably like- the migraines. I was literally, true. I was literally like, so for the past, probably about three days now, three or four days now. It feels like I'm drunk for the last, it's, it has felt like I've been drunk for the last four days. Like, no, but like the worst parts of it, you know, when you have had too much to drink and you close your eyes and you're spinning. Personally, I don't, but go on. That is how I have felt for the last four days to the point where I like, I'm crawling places in my apartment because I like, I'm scared if I fall, I, I like, I'm, I'm going to hit my head and no one's going to be there to help me. Right. And so I'm like, crawling places in my apartment. Like it feels like I'm just going like this constantly. So I finally went and saw a doctor about it. Turns out I have very severe vertigo. I thought you were a um, Pisces. <laughs> no, I'm a Virgo, uh, not a vertigo. Uh, gotcha. Anyway, so it turns out I have really severe vertigo, which is like from an inner Im- imbalance or something. It can be either that or something in my neck. And t- <laughs> today in the mall with my mom, cause I'm out of isolation now, obviously. Uh, today in the mall with my mom, I'm like, walking around with my mom and it fucking hits me and I just do like I just fucking like fall over like I'm drunk in the middle of the day and like it's not like I'm like passing out so it's not like is she okay it's just like I fucking just tipped over and I'm like you're dumpted and I'm just like I'm kind (laughs) of like swaying back and forth like this because that's literally my head is just I thought they broke up what oh sorry I thought you were bringing up the sway boys for whatever (laughs) oh my god it feels like part of me is like being pulled this way and then it's like I'm trying to like like it's like that like I don't know how to even explain a dementor it. situation um sure. I would say it's like when you're just dizzy like on a merry-go-round or something yeah, and then you be- step off have you heard Theo Vaughn say um man dizzy's not real white <laughs> people made it up so we didn't have to go to work sometimes <laughs> <laughs> wow I wish because this is the worst feeling I have like it literally it's not like r- circles it's like because there's a a balance going off. I think that's why I'm so bad. Like my balance is so bad. Cause he said that you most likely had vertigo for a really long time. Hence why your balance is terrible. My balance is terrible. And that I'm getting random nausea spells and something has happened. Like it could have either been the COVID and imbalance in my ear or a neck thing that has triggered it to be a lot more severe. Cause like right now my whole body feels like it's going like this. I'm just like swaying like this and it's terrible. But um, that's been my week. Sounds like a sounds like a grilling oh, that, week. And um, not to like bring politics into this because I know we didn't want to, but I did uh, go to the downtown LA protests um, like two days ago, whatever. And again, you can check my Instagram stories for everything, but I painted myself and like put, you know, words all over my body about like the, the subject at matter. Um, and I think it immediately gives people, like they think they have a right to like just come up and, like just randomly start taking photos of you and stuff. And this guy just like got all up in me and started, and I was like, excuse me. He was just like, I just want to take a photo of you. I was like, you can ask then. Like, you don't just get to come up to me and take photos. Like, come on, dude. It literally on my stomach, it says human rights and women's rights. And you're just like, let's, let's really think about what's going on. And then there was this guy that came up to me. who was so totally there to pull girls, which is like the worst place you could have ever possibly been for this. That's like a drug also, addict going like, to, or a drug no, dealer going to like, narcotics anonymous You could anonymous so tell meeting. that that's what he was there for because he was the type of, he came up to me and he goes, I just want to let you know that that was dope. And I was like, Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. He goes, you know, man, like I'm one of the good guys. Like I quote, I quote, this is what happened. John and Scotty were sitting right now. He goes, I'm one of the good guys. Like I really am. And I'm, I'm here to, to support you, you women and, and help you any way I can. And he was holding a LGBTQIA fl- a flag. I um, mean, he was like, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be. Jared doesn't this. believe in the B part for whatever reason. No, don't. What? That is not <laughs> true. Don't even put that out there. That is you're so just not L- true. You're just LGQIA+. Plus. Plus. No, I'm all of it. You said Oh, that, congratulations. No, okay, that's not. No, no, but you said you don't believe in the B because they're being greedy. It's like- No, you said, I didn't. I'm fighting you <laughs> no, on this. Jared said- I go with you on a lot of bits. I'm fighting you on this. You said, you said I don't care what you like, but pick no. a pole or a hole and stick with it. That's what you said. <laughs> That is. See, you know how I did. I how everybody should really know good. I didn't say that because that's too clever for me. That, that is, is a you too, statement. That is too clever. I just don't know why you're not included. I wonder if. Do you know what I wonder sometimes? What if he thinks this way and this is just his way of getting his opinion out? That is a very real possibility. Anyway, tune in next week to find. What if, <laughs> no, what if like, that was our cliffhanger? That was the. Cliff. That would be terrible. But it like so he was so totally the guy that was like. 
your drink safe with me. I, you can give me your drink and like, it'll be safe. Those are the guys you know you do not want to give your drink. I'm to. like, you know, you're a good guy when you have to say that, say you're, that you're, a you're a good guy. But it was just like he literally sat there for like 15 minutes, like trying to talk to me, and I kept like inching my way because we were sitting on the city hall steps, um, and I kept like inching my way closer to Scotty and Scotty, and he's just down for the cause. Like he's like, Did, do you need me to like say something, Indy? And I was like. Oh, it's okay, Scotty. And he was just like, okay, because I'll tell him to fuck off if you want me to tell him to fuck off. And I was like, we're, we're good, Scotty. It's okay. And he was, do you know what the type of guy I'm talking about? He was yeah. just like- He's a where's my hug guy. He's definitely on, yes. He's a where's my hug guy. And he was wearing a hat that said equality, but like totally like he definitely but has- But accidentally said equity and it was just from a financial <laughs> firm. <laughs> he's and like, he's I could have sworn I was part of the movement. And he's definitely got some like Bass Pro Shops in his trunk and he just quickly switched it out before he came out here. Like, So he's lit. He's lit, 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 You, lit. you used the word earlier. I was just trying yeah, to- Yeah, he is lit. Um, okay. But uh, I just thought it was, I thought it was really funny. What time are we at? 102. Oh, that's it. What? Thank you guys oh, so much for it. listening. We're done. Um, Wait, I want to talk about my outfit. The You're black I think black we should, outfit. It's a unitard. You can't say that. I word. think we should. <laughs> yeah, it's 2022. Come I on. I said unitard, not. You said it again. I think we should start doing fit checks on this podcast. That'd be fun. Um, fit check. Go. Fit check. <laughs> no, you gotta see what your outfit's from. I think it'd be you fun. Think I know. You didn't even start. You just said I have this on. Okay. But you well, let me. We should all do fit checks. I know where all your stuff Okay, is why from. don't you do a fit check and then we'll say, oh my gosh, and then we'll okay, stop ready? the podcast. Okay. My shoes are from Amazon. My outfit is from Naked Wardrobe. My earrings are from, I don't know the company. I think it's Amazon. And then my rings are Cartier. Nice. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. <laughs> no, I think it could be a fun segment for us to do to start talking about our wardrobe because I love it. Oh, definitely. Well, you can do it every week. Wait. Give your fit check. Uh, oh, uh, my shoes are from Nike. Can I? Um, I the the, the, from, the goddess of war. No, god, uh, war. Victory. Victory. Oh, is that what it is? Um, yes. I got socks. Um, I think my mother gave them to me quite some time ago. Nice. These jeans I wear almost every They're day. They're from PacSun. Are they? Yes. Interesting. Your shirt uh, is from Cole and Terry Vintage. What? <laughs> your chain is from, I believe, H&M or is it Boohoo? H&M. Um, oh, Apple. Apple Watch. Your hat is LA Dodgers. Um, LA Dodgers. And then I have a jacket on that I've had, Wait, I got for, for Christmas. Years. I yes. mean, I've had this jacket for longer than I've been alive. So, Jay Bear, what's on your hat? Uh, well, this, the hat's custom, one of one. Um, Disgusting. Uh, this this is, is a bracelet that my mom got me for a uh, birthday or something Cute. one year. God, I love this shirt. Thing. It says Rich Vale on it. It it's actually merch from this guy, this uh, R and B slash rapper. His name's Russell with an exclamation point. I got it probably in 2014. Um, mm. The jeans. That's a good year for me. Touching w- girls on a bus. I gotta say that. Ew. Ew. That's my first time. Are I they H and M? They look like Not, H&M. oh, a grope. Target. No, grope. Target dr- has derogatory. the best jeans. Wait, hold on. I just said I grope someone, and it's drug. It was consensual. Thank you. Going. Thank you for. Uh, just shoehorning your consensual fingering story in there. <laughs> I didn't. F- I didn't say I fingered. I touched yeah, a nipple. You told me that you fingered a girl from the back seat of a bus. Remember you like we did a reach around. I, I remember that story. Do you not? Yeah. No. He. he okay. Dude. Anyway, the socks are plain white socks that Indy got me in West Virginia because his were fucking disgusting. And the shoes are red old school Vans. I like it. I Thank you really so fun. much for watching and listening. If you stay to the end, the underwear is Calvin Klein. Sorry. Let's get to a picture of Jared just in those. Mine's from Victoria's Secret. Zach, where's your underwear from? Dude, I don't even know what underwear I'm it's wearing. It's from Target. Okay. Is it? How do you know that? Yeah, how do you? I don't I even. I bought you all your underwear. But I don't even know that. Like, <laughs> I could be wearing different underwear. I know. I think I they're blue. I've had to put money it's on it. It's from Target. Um, but thank you so much. If you stay till the end, um, please... Submit your application to my DMs of why you should be in my cult. Please tell me like your your best attributes and things like that and what you could provide to the cult to um, really have the strongest community we can. Um, with that said. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Dropouts. I'm Indiana. Again, we're not being insincere. Please go check out my Instagram for any help that you need. I'm My, my DMs are open at all times, literally at all times. Um, I'm Indiana, that's Zach Justice, Allegedly. that's Jay Bear Music. Uh, make sure to check us out on Instagram at Dropouts Pod, and we'll see you guys next week for another episode of Dropouts. Oh, 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 oh,